Hi, welcome to the Knits Up Podcast. I'm Mindy, your hostess, otherwise known as Knitter CNY. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Knitter CNY. You can find a podcast group over on Ravelry. We also have a Facebook page for the Knits Up Podcast. I'm on YouTube. Uh, subscribe on YouTube if you can. That's probably the place I post videos most, um, but they will always be up on Facebook iTunes sometimes, depending on the size of the video, and um, not so frequently there anymore. I am going to show you a yarn haul video. If that is not your thing, I have complete respect for you. Turn me off. Go away. <laughs> you can listen to old podcast episodes or watch old podcast episodes um, various places. So... I went to New Jersey on vacation. I just got home yesterday. Today's my 50th birthday. Um, in conjunction with that, if you are on YouTube, leave me a comment. Um, let me know what is 50 divided by two. If you leave that in the comments, I will try and contact you through YouTube and you may be a winner of yarn. Not this yarn that I just bought, but some stuff out of my stash and um, some other things I may throw in the box. I don't know what the value of said things will be, but it'll be stuff so I can move some stuff out of the stash and move this into the stash. So one of the places, the big place I went in New Jersey was the Lion Brand Yarn Outlet Store. And for those of you who did not know, Lion Brand has a yarn outlet store. Um, they used to have a studio in Manhattan as well that closed, I want to say last year or the year before. It's all kind of muddled because of the pandemic, but um, where I stayed, I knew I wanted to go up to Ikea in Paramus, and I also wanted to go to the Lion Brand outlet store, so I actually booked a hotel in Karlstadt, and it was basically right around the corner. If you're familiar with the Teterboro Airport, it's basically along one of the side roads there. You kind of wind your way through some warehouses um, and the road takes you right there. As long as you use GPS, you'll find it. It's not very difficult to find. And then um, you walk in and there's basically every kind of yarn that Lion Brand has. Um, there are some, a lot of um, bagged ends, Millens, Millens, that's the name I'm looking for. So I bought a lot of that. I bought probably, I, the items that I bought, I believe with, believe with everything totaled about $116. Now, not all of that was yarn, um, but what I'm gonna show you is a lot of yarn. Uh, I am going to say though, that on the way back, I stopped at Ocean State Odd Lots, or Ocean State Job Lot. It's a store, and I stopped in Pennsylvania on the way home, and I bought a couple of things. Um, two of them were these, which are 50-50 yarn, which is basically 50 wool, 50 acrylic, and these are old Craftsy yarns. These were $3.99 a piece, and were number four weight, and it's called Spectrum Worsted. It has a whole bunch of different colors in it. And I thought, well, I can make something out of that. I don't know what. They also had the old, I believe, I don't know whether it was craftsy stuff or whether it's something else. I picked up a couple 16-inch needles, an 8 and a 10. So that being said, all the rest of this is Lion Brand stuff. Um, so... I looked probably at least for an hour at the stuff, which is not difficult to do. The store is laid out really easily. Um, if you were in a wheelchair, um, it's very, very easy to navigate. Um, basically hardwood floors all the way through, enough space. The, the aisles are sort of shelving, but it's on an angle, but you can see clearly it's you know, spaced out very well. It's accessible. Um, so I would say, you know, 
if you have any mobility issues, you will not have any problems in there. Um, that's one of my pet peeves with a lot of yarn stores, especially if you have an older clientele that they don't make those. A lot of yarn stores are not careful about their use of space in, um, in consideration of somebody who's disabled. Um, I've noticed this more um, only because when my dad went in the nursing home, then he was in a wheelchair and it was something that was more present. I was more cognizant of it. So um, that being said, it was a great experience. Um, I parked, it was rainy, it was miserable. Um, they are closed on Saturdays, um, just so you know that right off the bat. The family that owns Lion Brand Yarn is Jewish and they observe uh, Saturdays off, but they are open Sundays. They are, they're closed today, which is Memorial Day. So um, you can check out their Facebook page and they'll let you know what the special is for the week. They usually put one yarn on sale. Um, they had really good deals on everything. If you're in the tri-state area, I would definitely go there. If you have to make a trip to New York City from someplace else, it's, it would be worth your time to drive out there, even though I hate New Jersey traffic. Um, I'm from upstate New York. I can like not be right next to a Rite Aid or not right next to whatever it is. New Jersey, you're like basically on top of each other, at least where I was because it's so close to the city that retail is at a premium and it's right on top of each other. But anyways, you didn't hear, come here to see, talk about New Jersey. You came to talk about yarn. So, what'd I get? Well, first of all, I got some millens. This was 10 bucks. The prices are clearly marked on them. I have no idea what this is, um, but it's pretty. And they all come, most of them come in bags of three. This is homespun millens. Um, three different colors. This was five bucks five bucks for three skeins of homespun and they kind of go together I'm thinking prayer shell kind of thing and then I got some more millens of homespun this one I really really like because this to me says fall tree colors and that's gonna make a beautiful shawl or shrug for somebody I'm not sure quite who yet um they had Mandala Thick and Quick. Um, this is the, it's 100% acrylic. I've made something out of Mandala Thick and Quick before. I liked those colors, so I want to make some hats out of them. And that was nine bucks. So not a bad price at all. Um, they had miscellaneous, they call it. Um, I think it might be Ferris, Ferris wheel. I'm not quite sure, but I liked those colors. Those are kind of, those are very unique. Um, then they have Scarpy and it's, I believe it's like a almost, I don't think it's a Scarpy bonus bundle. I think it's just the way it's, it's packaged and it was four bucks four bucks for Scarfy, which is a really good price. Um, they had a mill end of the homespun and um, it's called Go for Faux Duo. Um, this was something they sold for a limited time. You can make a hat out of it. It comes with the fur so you can just start at the bottom um, and work up and it gives you like a little fur trim around the hat. Four bucks. I think this is originally sold for like nine or ten, maybe more than that. Um, this is Woolies Tonal, um, which is 80% acrylic, 20% um, wool. Um, it's kind of like a thick and quick only it was, um, it had different colors in it. I like that red, white, and blue. Um, I'm mostly going to use this for blue hats, I think. 
because I think it has to be 75% blue, um, if I remember correctly. And then we had um, something that was called Zaps. It was, I think, eight bucks originally, but it might have been on sale for less than that. I'm not really sure. But this is, the color is called Supersonic. And it is very, very bright. Um, it has a hat pattern that goes with it. So, as you can see, I'm going to be getting into making hats. And all this yarn is going to go flipping on the floor if I'm not careful. So I'm just going to start laying it on the floor. Um, then they had really good, they had a really good special that was down in the aisles. They had mill ends of Thick and Quick that were like $7 in different colors, like a red um, fisherman, a fisherman that was flecked, a gray stone, I believe is the color. And then there was some other color that was in there. But when I got into the the actual aisles of shelving, they had thick and quick. Now this is navy and this is, this was five bucks. This is the bonus bundle of thick and quick. So I got two of navy and then in that same aisle they had Two of, I don't know what color this is, Royal, which is also blue. So I thought, okay, I want to make hat, not hate hats, for um, the drive that they're doing, which is blue hats. You mail or turn them into Lion Brand for um, a company that for a charity that the owner's daughter, Shira Blumenthal, runs. And it is an anti-bullying campaign where they go into schools and talk about, you know, you're an ally of a person. If you're wearing a blue hat, you know, speak up, say something. You know, bullying is not okay. It's based on her experience as a young girl and she wanted to do something proactive um, with kids. So this is something they've started in the past, I wanna say four or five years. And I dropped off um, four hats while I was at the outlet from, uh, my friend had made one, I had made three, and you can just drop them off right there at the outlet. You can also mail them in. Check out hatnothate.org that will give you all the details. That will give you the address to mail them in. There are pickup points in the United States where you can drop them off. Um, last year I made some and mailed some in, but I wanted thicker yarn to make hats faster and easier, basically. So I can get two hats at least out of those bonus bundles. So that's what I did. Um, something else that I bought moving on is something that was called shimmer now i do not usually gravitate towards these colors this is sort of an orangey red with black in it and then there's like a lurex thread this was four bucks i have no idea why i bought this but it seemed like a good idea at the time um and then something else that i got is um nubu which is, I believe it's like a cottony kind of bam. It's a bamboo kind of yarn. It's purple. Um, this is showing up gray, but it's purple. This was nine bucks for three of these. Um, I think I'm going to work on a dress or maybe knit and knockers. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that yet, but it's there. Um, and then there were a few little odd things that I bought. Um, one of them is this, and you say, hmm, that looks weird. That looks like one of those loop yarns. Why, yes, yes, that is one of those loop yarns. It's Elmo, and it's on, it was on sale for two bucks. This makes a panel of Elmo, um, and my cousin's daughter is really, really into Elmo, so I think 
I'm either going to mail this down and let them do it themselves because I hate loop yarns, but it seemed like something good to buy. And then um, I also bought a couple off the hook yarns um, for my goddaughter um, because she's kind of into these ish and her mother will hate me for getting her this because it's a unicorn and then there's like one that just stripes so I figured if she could make herself a pillow or something like that so I'm really really sorry but I had to buy them they were two bucks a piece and it will amuse her for a half an hour or 45 minutes and then the other things that I bought um, I was standing in the checkout line and when you stand in the checkout line, they don't have candy bars. They have other addictive things. So these are really, these kits I remember from probably 10 years ago when fun fur was all the rage. And you say, why would you subject yourself to fun fur? I'm not going to. They're going to be presents for somebody. When somebody always says, oh, I would love to learn to knit or I would love to learn to crochet, you're never quite sure what they want. So this is a complete kit. It comes with a pair of knitting needles. Um, these happen to be size 17, which is a 12 and three fourths millimeters. So they're really thick. It comes with one skein of Jiffy yarn, which is a bulky weight yarn, and then one skein of fun fur and a darning needle. And basically it's a garter stitch scarf. Um, it looks like that. Um, so if somebody's wanting to learn how to knit, this works really well because if you drop a stitch, nobody sees it because of the fun fur. And then the other one that I got is another scarf kit. And this one comes with size 10 needles. Um, and it comes with, I want to say... Jiffy, yeah, Jiffy yarn and fun fur, and that's also a garter stitch scarf, so it's really, really simple. And then the last one that they had, I want to say, I can't remember how much I paid for this one, I want to say it might be three bucks as well. Um, it comes with two skeins of acrylic yarn and an easy to follow crochet scarf pattern and a size N 13 9 millimeter hook. Um, it's just a purple scarf. Um, it's not extraordinary, but you know, for somebody who just wants to learn, three bucks is a pretty good investment. So, and then the last thing that I got, the last things that I got were a tiny tape measure. And it would help if I was holding it the right way, wouldn't it? A tiny faux leather tape measure, because you can never have too many tape measures. Um, and then they had the um, tags. Now, these are the tags for hat, not hate. They are um, just little wooden tags that you can sew on the hats. And they're a buck for two of them. So I got one, two three, four, five. I got five so I can make 10 hats and sew on the tags and send them in. The deadline for Hat Not Hate, I believe is August 1st. Um, so that's good. And then along with my purchase, I got a free tote bag. I don't know what limit you have to hit to get the free tote bag, but I apparently hit it. Um, so I got a free little tote bag. Um, and so the tote bag was filled with yarn. This, two of these were filled with yarn. So I got a lot of yarn, guys. So I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, if you, like I said, to enter the giveaway, please, you have to be a subscriber. You have to leave a comment below. In honor of my 50th birthday, what is 50 divided by 2? You give me the answer in the comment. You may be picked. I'm going to say two weeks for this drawing, and then I will announce the winner 
um, out of the number of correct answers of subscribers, I will pick at random somebody. I will contact you and um, say, hey, you know, because I don't post that often. I think sometimes people miss the episodes or whatever, and I don't want you to lose out. And I just want to, you know, get the stuff out of my stash. I can't guarantee what will be in there. Um, probably mostly acrylics, um, but I will maybe throw a skein of delightful or plentiful in there from Joann's. Um, it was a yarn I used to make a um, sweater with, and I made it in blood orange. I've got like a purplish one, so I think I that needs to go in there. And a couple other things. I want to get some stuff out of the stash and make room for the new stuff, so there'll be random stuff in there. And, you know, like I said, we'll ship it to you. We'll call it good. And I've had both my COVID shots. My stash has basically sat in bins the entire time. Um, everybody's doing very well. Um, my dad has had his shots. Um, hopefully we're getting a little bit more back to normal. Um, but, um, and in the States, it's Memorial Day. So take a moment today and remember, um, fallen service personnel um, that's important to me because I have had um, veterans in my family um, all the way back to the Revolutionary War in the United States um, my great grandfather whom I did not know he passed away before I was born was in the US Navy around the time of the Spanish American War and served in the US Navy for seven years um, so that is a, and my um, great uncle was in the U.S. Army, and I also had another great uncle on the other side of the family that was in the Army during World War II and served during the Battle of the Bulge and the Battle of Brittany, um, where, the, you know, he told me stories of that. And it was amazing, um, sad, but amazing. Um, he's passed on now. So sometimes you, when you don't hear those stories firsthand, you don't quite understand what they gave up when they went over there for years. Um, a lot of them missed their kids being born, um, or, you know, married their sweetheart and the sweetheart waited for them. Um, while everything was going on, um, I used to babysit for somebody that was a Vietnam vet and it was, um, his wife told me once, um, she didn't quite know, he didn't really talk about it and she said the movie Platoon came out and they went to see it and she said all of a sudden just everything opened up and she said we sat in the car for hours and he told me. He just started telling me things and she said he had never talked about it before you know they just didn't talk about their service when they came home a lot of the a lot of the guys that went over there um, because it was so unlike anything that was here and so many of them didn't make it home um, sorry if that bums anybody out but um, I also have a friend who's on active duty right now stateside which I'm glad about. And um, so take a moment, remember um, people that have passed, and then, you know, have a barbecue and enjoy your day. That's what they would want you to do. Um, I hope that you all have a great week, and remember to enter the drawing. Bye-bye.